Hey, you guys, it's been a little while. It's early morning. We're going to go ahead and feed everyone. We're going to feed everybody. And so I thought I'd just bring you guys along. So let's go do it. So it's been a while since I've showed you guys um, our chickens. This is Haywood, if you guys don't remember. That's my new rooster. And then all of his ladies just dewormed all these guys and treated for lice because we had an infestation here about a month ago. Uh, they're just barely starting. Hey, you guys are being loud. Thanks. Thank you. Went ahead and treated everybody, D cleaned out the coop. Now these guys are starting to look a lot healthier. I kept wondering why their combs were um, getting, like looked kind of pale to me. We actually lost one or two birds. Um, Cause I just didn't know. I'm inexperienced. I didn't know what was happening. So um, anyway, we got that figured out and everybody seems to be doing really well now and everyone's combs are looking nice and bright and they seem a lot happier and healthier. Uh, we've been doing um, some vitamins in their water to help grow back their feathers. Cause some of them like this one, I don't know if you guys can see her. You see her feathers just look so sparse from, um, from her molt she's she's probably the worst one but the rest of them here and there have a couple of feathers missing i'm hoping that with all the vitamins and extra protein that we're adding to their food that everybody is going to be nice and healthy and ready for winter around this time of year um, people will notice that their chickens will stop laying eggs they attribute it to the lighting changes which does affects their laying but um more so than not it's because in the fall time they'll go through a molt and they're already having um they're using all that protein in their diet to regrow feathers um to keep them warm for the winter so by adding extra protein to their diet um you're boosting that in their bodies and they're able to produce eggs better as well as uh, produce the feathers that they need for the winter time All right, so now that everyone is fed, we're gonna go ahead and um, feed the goats. We haven't fed them yet. We fed everyone else. So Gruff's been staked out here um, for the past month or so. He's been eating the, the field. He's been doing a good job, like always. Um, Kyle finally built him a brand new house. Um, he kept itching himself on his old one, and that is the result of that. So. He's got a new house, um, which has been working really good for him. I'm really glad because he's needed it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this mesh wiring on this bottom half of the cage. Um, we recently did that just because Eden was um, running out here with Gruff, but um, Eden is about four months old now and um, that's when Dolings can can become pregnant if you are not careful. And Gruff was showing a little too much interest in her. We just went ahead and you know covered the whole bottom half of this so that she couldn't get through these bars anymore.
All right, everyone is watered and fed now. I fed the bunnies too. I, I don't think I showed that part. That's okay. Um, but now we gotta gather some eggs. All right. Oh, Miss Hattie is in there. There's no eggs. She might be on some. You know, you gonna go, Miss Hattie? Okay, keep going. I don't have two hands, so oh, she just laid this one. You see how wet it is? It has that nice protective coating on it um, that protects your eggs so that they um, can sit on the <coughs> counter. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and gather these eggs. There's actually more than I thought that there would be, so that's really cool. So I'm going to grab my basket, hold on. Usually it's much later in the day when I gather eggs, just because that's when my ladies lay, but this morning I was, was a nice surprise. I guess it's just, you know, perfect for you guys. <laughs> project that I've been uh, working on for the past, I don't know, month or two, um, is this compost pile. This is a bunch of bedding and rabbit manure. Like this used to be super dense where I couldn't even get the shovel in. And if you can see, my shovel goes in pretty darn easy. This is actually really easy for me to turn. But this is gonna be perfect for springtime. I'm super excited to use this on my garden. You guys see this? Yeah, I mean, I mean it has a lot of, um, hold on. Obviously it has poop in it. I'm gonna wash my hands, don't you worry. <laughs> um, but do you see that? But I mean, this has a lot of poop in it still. I don't know, maybe I should have showed you guys before I, I stirred it, but um, I'm really excited about this. I'm in no rush to, um, sorry, this this is my other hand, just so you know, I didn't touch that with this, so. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't smell bad. Like it actually really smells actually really good. It smells like, um, you know, natural, just, it smells like dirt, honestly. It smells really good. It. I'm really excited to use it in my garden next year. Oh, that's kind of a new thing that I've been doing. And I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna let it sit over winter, uh, continue to break down. Um, I haven't been adding water. You're s supposed to, I guess. Like a lot of people just like drench it with their hose and turn it. Um, I haven't been doing that. I've just left it because I'm in no hurry to use it. Um, and I think by next spring, it definitely will be ready. So anyway, super exciting. All right, and just because I haven't shown my bunnies in a while, I wanna show you guys. This is Briar. She, whenever we open this door, she associates it with food. <laughs> so here she is, but she's like, where's my treat? <laughs> anyway, she's um, really sweet, you guys. This is, um, this is the bunny that we, rescued um she's a lot more full full now um she's healthy so there she is she's so beautiful and sweet and here's maverick as handsome as ever just munching on his hay so yeah there's our bunnies we're gonna start getting, um, I gotta get her another box for the winter time, just because they don't get a ton of shelter um, from the snow and the wind in these. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that curtain back down here again for the winter. Um, and I wanna get her a box so that she's able to huddle in somewhere and stay dry and warm and shielded from rain, snow, and wind, so. All right, so we're the next day. It's a Saturday. I've got my little one strapped to me. Um, and we are going out to the goat's pen. And Kyle is going to build us a thing for our hay. So it stays nice and dry for the winter time. Thinking about something kind of like this. 
Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. For you at home, I'm using number six by inch and a quarter screws to put on the end of a Phillips bit on my Milwaukee 18 volt impact wrench. Oh, well dear. <laughs> it's wireless. <laughs> Look how nice it looks. Babe, you did it. Looks so good. Oh, oh. oh dear. <laughs>